Hello, Hello Floss Tube. We're, we're back. back and we're the we're real housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And this is Ronnie. And Cash. We're here to talk to you about our stitching for the past two weeks. I want to first mention Cash's beautiful hat. This was knit uh, by a viewer, Becky, and we decided to have him wear it for the beginning. She gave us all the history about it, but it is beautiful and he is adorable in it. Say hi. All right, so we have missed a video. I didn't know I was going to be gone for two weeks. Yeah, so she said, oh, we'll be back Sunday. And I couldn't say anything because I didn't want to ruin any of the surprise. So she got to the airport and um, my stepdad let her know that she wouldn't be coming home. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> um, where did you get to go? I went on a seven day cruise and then I went for a week in Disney. Yes. And um, two of my brothers, myself and Cash, all hopped on a plane on mom's birthday in the morning. And... Um, surprised her for dinner that night we were texting my stepdad along you know how because we went to dinner at disney springs how mad is mom that she has to leave the park because if she, <laughs> she if she doesn't get there when park opens and leaves uh park closed she's angry <laughs> she is absolutely angry so he's he's like she's a little mad <laughs> um so we didn't know how we were going to surprise her or what we were going to do so my brother once we got to disney springs had the idea of we all have like a family snapchat that we use and he's like let's start taking pictures and post them in there and we'll see her reaction when she opens them in the store because we had said hey we'll meet her in the big disney store down there well she didn't open them the <laughs> phone was in her purse the entire time i mean she is notorious for opening her phone and being the first one to check the snapchat not this time <laughs> And so we're hiding behind this pole and the she's at the checkout trying to I'm I have the baby like out the side of the pole like this. Like, <laughs> causing all sorts of attention, did not see us. And then the first person she saw was my uh younger brother Parker. And he's twenty feet tall, so it's hard to miss him. But she was like, Oh, why are you here? <laughs> and then she saw all of us and she was crying uh hysterical. Very fun. Nobody videotaped it though. Mm -hmm. We were all just ragged from running around and they wouldn't give me my rental car because my credit card said my maiden name and not my uh, Mary. It was just a mess. It was an absolute mess. But we went and we had dinner and were you surprised? You had no idea? No. That morning I FaceTimed her to say happy birthday um, and she was like, oh, I thought I was going to get here and you guys were going to be waiting for me to come to Disney with kidding. me. And I was like, okay, we got to go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday. See you later. I was kidding. Um, I thought she knew, but she had no idea. And I had no clue about the cruise. I I was told that we were going on a cruise for my husband's work back when in the summer. Mm -hmm. But it because was supposed had, to be at the end of the month. We had done it one other time. And then all of a sudden on November 1st, he, well, a week leading up to it, he said, we might not be going, we might not be going, there's problems with the two companies, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, how does that happen? <laughs> And then on November 1st, he said, we're definitely not going. So no, I was she like, thought Whoa. maybe he didn't turn in his paperwork and that's why we can't go. <laughs> no, that's not what I thought. <laughs> um, but then I thought it was just so stupid because I hadn't seen anything about it. But you didn't see anything in the first place. You were just trying to be nosy. But he had <laughs> asked me where my birth certificate was because he needed to know for that, that cruise that we were going on. And I actually checked the drawer that day okay. and it was still in there. So I thought. My stepdad and I had to correspond through email, through his work email, because I knew she would be just nosy and looking over his shoulder if he was texting me all the time. And it didn't stop him. He texted all of us like 15 <laughs> times a minute. He was texting my brother if we were in the air. Like, we can't answer. Yes, we're on our way. It was so fun, though. Mm -hmm. And just we went to their hotel in the morning to have breakfast. We had Mickey beignets. Mm -hmm. If you haven't had a Mickey beignet, I think they're better than the real beignets, and I've had one. Just kidding. But we had a great time. You we got were... to go to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Mm -hmm. I'm still wearing my band. I can't give it up. <laughs> Was that the first time or that? Do I still have my other band on too? <laughs> Just swipe I, it through the door. I'm not ready for the magic to end. I got my magic band on. <laughs> Grandma's nuts. <laughs> um, is that your first Merry Christmas? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you've been to the Halloween one? No. No? Okay. So that's your first party. Mm-hmm. You get to go in. They close the park. A certain mm -hmm. amount of people get to go in. But there's still a ton of people. And shorter lines for the rides? Shorter lines for the rides, but I, what what I mostly wanted to see was like the fireworks and the shows and the parades. And those, like we were packed in there like sardines. So there's still a lot of people. Okay. But All it's right. very nice. It snows on Main Street. 
They give out cookies. Oh. I brought home some of the Mickey sugar cookies. Aren't they cute? She brought home some. She opened up her purse to take a picture and she just got them jammed in there. <laughs> yeah, because we weren't eating them. And every place you go, they give you cookies and cocoa and uh, apple cider and oh. slushies and dove chocolates. And Did you bring any of those home? Yeah, they're in oh, the bag. Perfect. I know so I stuffed the bag of cookies in my suitcase and brought them home. <laughs> Uh, and everybody kept saying I was sunburned in my pictures. I wasn't sunburned. I had a little tiny bit on my arms, but especially... You did get sun poisoning. Yes. I did get sun On the poisoning. cruise. But that was mm -hmm. cleared up by the time she was in Disney. Just the lighting in some of the pictures, it looked like you... It did look like you were burnt. I know, but I think it was because I was... You know, when I, I turn red when I'm, like, a little bit embarrassed. And it was oh, yeah. hard for me to say, hey! <laughs> Can you hold my cross stitch? <laughs> Here's my cross stitch. Mm -hmm. If you didn't check out her Instagram, uh, Priscilla Blaine on Instagram, and you can see all the pictures with Mickey and Minnie, Goofy, yep. Goofy. And I finished two pieces while I was gone, and the new chalk on the farm has been drawn, but I didn't have my stuff with me to start it, and so I ordered from one, two, three stitch my threads, and I'm ready to go now. She didn't have any of her charts or anything to there. So remember last time we did a video and I showed you my bag that I was bringing and I had all my stuff in there? Well, I took it out to show you guys and I left it sitting <laughs> on the table. I got to the airport and I had fabric and floss and no And I charts. knew she was going to be gone for two weeks and I'm like, oh my God, what's she going to do with herself? <laughs> uh, it was a horrific nightmare. <laughs> so, so of we course, made it work. Yeah. Chelsea has the same charts and she knew what I was stitching and I have the charts, but she had to take a picture and send it to me because I had nothing to stitch and I was ready she to grind. Yeah, she and I was thinking, crazy. can I make it home, get my stuff and come back to the airport in time for the plane? No, no. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. All right. So. Anyway, Look at it. Isn't it cute? we have, so we have matching shirts. Uh, grandma bought us shirts and Cash had pajamas that match these and she left them at to, home. Yeah, I have to find them. Th this week has been chaos. Everyone, Ronnie is good. She had fun. Mm -hmm. She got to bark at the chickens and the ducks all week long. Mm -hmm. And she's the baby's babysitter, apparently. She has mm -hmm. noted herself as that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back to, do we have stitching? Oh, we have questions this week. <laughs> uh, Jill, the name of the fabric panel that you guys received from Susan. It's beautiful. What's the name? Is it Pumpkin Hollow Farms? No, that's a cross stitch. Um, pumpkin Farm. It's from... B with buttermilk base and buttermilk base and pumpkin Henry farm. glass fabrics. Yes, it's a little bit hard to find. Soccer mount asked, uh, What costumes did the girls wear? One was a zombie ballerina, <laughs> and the other yeah. one was um, a softball player. Hello, we didn't do a lot of DIY costumes this year. I don't know why time got away from me. Debbie wanted to know, I have you already mentioned this, but do you wash or iron your cross stitch? No. We don't wash. We do iron after we are done. So we stitch in hand, so a lot of times there's a lot of wrinkles, but we don't get hoop marks. Um, but we do uh, run an iron over it with the stitches face down on a towel. Now, my stitching here has been touched by princesses and Mickey Mouse, and it's never going to be washed. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> she, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay, uh, Peggy, love pick of cash at the end. Did Priscilla make that hat? Mm -hmm. Yep, so that one was made by my mom. She crocheted it, and then um, the Packer Knits fans, there was other pictures taken, and she knit him a pumpkin hat as well. So he wore, he's worn both of them. The oh. other grandsons wore it also. Yes. They've all been stuffed in pumpkins. Elizabeth, is the furniture window and trips all for your birthday? And, and I don't usually get, like, <laughs> this... I, uh, my birthday is not a big deal usually, right? Yeah. So but last year, a big deal this year, I said I want to be in Disney World for my birthday, and he made it happen. Plus a few other places <laughs> and things. So. Uh, Cheryl, does Ronnie take the squeaker out of her toys? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All our dogs do. And I the buy those flat ones and... now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they don't like the stuffing. The stuffing comes out immediately. Barbara, love your stitch like it's your job. Saying you should turn that into a cross stitch chart. <laughs> We should put on shirts. Hello. Um, Linda, do you plant your mums? No, I don't. I have some that are that come back every year, but the ones that I buy, they just sit in pots. Okay. Gayla wanted to know, do you guys exchange names for Christmas or buy for everyone? And where do you have the big get-togethers? 
Ooh. Us kids have started doing like a secret Santa type thing. I had the idea of this year we do secret Santa for our pets just because we all have pets and sometimes it's hard to buy for each other. Um, and we do Christmas Eve here yeah. with appetizers. We go to church and then we come back and mm -hmm. appetizers like no other. I mean the counters and table are lined with it. That, that's probably one of my favorite nights. Mm -hmm. um, and then we open a gift from grandma. And then this year we're going to be doing Christmas at my house. And we usually do a, a couple of breakfast casseroles and those recipes are on my blog. We love those recipes. Oh my gosh. French, French toast, toast casserole, casserole and then the one sausage. that you make with sausage and biscuits and bacon. Oh. It's delicious and it's gone Eggs. within minutes. And yep. they're make ahead ones. So you just make it the night before and you are good to go in the mm. morning and you can focus on the stuff you need to make. And then Thanksgiving this year is going to be at my house as well. Yeah, we have no food. We have no groceries. <laughs> I got a 23 pound turkey uh, defrosting in the fridge. Do you see Mickey? Um, okay, and then um, Missy, when using RIT dye to dye your stuff, do you do the coffee tea first or do you do the RIT dye first? Rit. I think we usually do the RIT first. We do the RIT dye because the coffee tea for us is just to antique whatever color mm -hmm. we have. We want to make it look kind of primitive. So afterwards to mm -hmm. get the full effect. Mona, what fabric will you use for the waxing moon design? Uh, the one about Santa rides or something? Not, I don't know. And what are you going to use for the glitter houses? I don't know what I'm using for that. I don't know if that'll be stitched this year. I want to try, but all that back stitching just gives me the little <laughs> for the letters. <laughs> but I love it, and I love it on that darker fabric. So if we could dye something darker like that. It's like a bluish. Yeah, and I'm not sure about the glitter houses yet. I, I don't plan on starting them right now. I plan on that being like my one a month that I start in January. Okay. <laughs> We're teething. <laughs> um, and she's gotten some holes in her fabric and she's quite a way through. Have you suggested anything other than just starting over? Because she snipped, you know, if, she, if you're frogging. I Just be very, very careful when you're frogging. Usually I use a needle, so I start some and then just use the tip of a needle mm -hmm. to pull out the thread so you don't get the holes in the fabric. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, if they're barely noticeable, just... I think if you Google that, I think there are people that tell you how to fix that problem. Oh. Mm -hmm. Also, what's the idea behind the snaps from Bent Creek? I think it's just a, a, an embellishment. I'm not sure. I didn't use them on my, my chart that yeah, I stitched for him. But. Last one. Shan, where do you get the primitive jingle bells? Where did we buy those last year? Oh, I ordered them from Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. We, yeah. We looked at the process of doing our own oh, jingle bells. Yeah, and yeah, it, no <laughs> so Amazon to the rescue, they have them. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is all I have for questions. Okay. So previous finishes? Yes. Previous finishes. I stitched this one last year. It's uh, from the Just Cross Stitch Magazine, one of the ornament issues. And it's so cute. And it's in a old butter, butter dish. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. You better not be sick. <laughs> I'm not sick. Uh, she put some homespun oh. ruffles around it. This, she probably had to stack up the... Yes. I stacked up the bottom with like pieces of sticky board, small pieces. To yep. Put it on the top. And then a little branch. So if you are out at thrift stores or whatnot and you get extra branches or anything like that, you can snip mm -hmm. them off a tree branch. That was actually a little tiny wreath that I snipped apart. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And this is an ornament, another one from Just Cross Stitch. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. I believe in Santa. I think it's a pair of hair. And I haven't done anything with it. Mounted on one. two pieces of sticky board. So the stitching on one and then the fabric wrapped mm -hmm. around another. And then and some bows. bows. And then, of course, the cupcake pan, the one that started it all. This is a vintage cupcake pan, and this is a Country Cottage Needleworks. I don't remember. What is it? Is it Tis the Season? Yeah. But it's so cute. And I have done a couple other cupcake pan finishes since then. And if you look uh, at Country Cottage Needleworks site for this, you'll see that it's in pink. It was a... The, oh, that's right. That's right. She changed the colors to mm -hmm. red and, and that is hickory, on my blog. hickory sticks. Yeah. So you can that see her color blog. changes on there. So if you're looking for this pattern, um, it is going to show Santa and Mrs. Claus in pink. Okay. All right. And then... You have finish? This one doesn't... Where is my other finish? Oh, it must be in my bag. Okay, so she worked on this on the plane can last night. Can you see if you can find it in there? This is Merry Christmas, right? I started that um, the Sunday night before we went to Disney. 
so last Sunday be right and then I finished it yesterday on the plane and she changed her house color to aqua and it's old money I did English ivy for the leaves the, the evergreen branches licorice red of course and then the hickory sticks for the brown okay do you think it's in here yeah oh it better be in there that thing made the rounds <laughs> and you traveled with these scissors and you were fine mm-hmm Kids There's scissors. always like uh, debates on their kid scissors. They're rounded about what you can bring on. I think it's that. Oh, fold it up like that. Mm -hmm. I had to make it small to fit in my purse. Lord have mercy. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, and this is Santa's list. And this was our stitch along PC Santa's list. And I finished that also on that Sunday night before we went to the parks. What color did you use for the green? uh jolly holly that was your idea but i had the whole top done and then i went to put santa in and i was so off i can't believe that you guys saw pictures of it and didn't tell me that. <laughs> so i had to like stitch the whole top part twice otherwise i would have been done a lot sooner but it worked out perfect because i had just enough stitching to did santa home. hold this one yes yes in her nikki's notables bag mm -hmm. that's what i took on the trip and then the bag that Adelaide Cottage sent us, that was my bag, too. And she's got her pin on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was my carry-on for the plane. I worked on Santa's List as well. I don't I don't know what I did this week, well, these two weeks, actually. But Santa's List, I started him. You missed me. I did. <laughs> I, I didn't eat for two Saturdays in a row, so I was just <laughs> starving. <laughs> I didn't have nourishment for the rest of the week. <laughs> Is that funny? That is so funny. <laughs> um, I started Lizzie Kate's. This is Jingles. I worked on Tingles during the Halloween season, so now I've started uh, Jingles. Finished up uh, by the chimney, I believe it is. It's a Country Cottage Needleworks. It's a small stocking. These are really quick to uh, finish, and that one was uh, one of my mania starts, so I can cross that off as well. And then I worked on Merry Christmas by Country Cottage. It was a Country Cottage Needleworks. You used a darker color, right? That's pretty. Yes, this is Cherry Cobbler. You can see the difference. I just liked the... Mm -hmm. I like that color for some reason. That's one of my favorite Christmas reds is that Cherry Cobbler. I feel like I'm going to make this into a thing to put on my tree upstairs. In my a bedroom. topper? Not a topper, but like in the just middle. a bigger kind of ornament. Okay. Then uh, behind me, you can see that I have pieced together the entire quilt now. She needs your mother to come home and finish it for you. Yeah, me. so my machine is a <laughs> Viking Victoria, I think it is. Um, and it was just having a hard time with going through all this, you know, because you're going through batting and whatnot. So I'm going to have my mom help me on her Bernina because her Bernina is like a workhorse. And we're going to like finish, years old. <laughs> finish this. It's 100 years old, but it works better than anything else. I forgot to show you guys last week that I started one with the small. And these fabrics were fat quarters from Walmart. Oh, 98 cents in those little um, yeah, they're boxes. cardboard them. boxes, usually on the bottom but shelf on the end cap. How perfect. They they made a, a set for Priscilla and Chelsea. <laughs> so this is um, a smaller square. This is a six and a half inch square. It's the same size that you're doing, though. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, but usually your quilts use mm -hmm. the nine inch, squ nine inch square. So once I get my house decorated and my stitching done, I can finish that. You're being so good, Cash. Thank you. Um, I worked <laughs> on making a pom-pom garland. I'm not completely done with that. Pom-poms are a pain in the butt. Let's mm -hmm. just be honest. But um, to make, and I also made some ornaments. So I, like mom has, she has a full tree. It's actually a rotating tree that has pictures of all of, uh, the family during various stages of our lives. Um, well, how I started it, though, was those ornaments that you guys all made when you were kids in school and you'd bring them home. Instead of putting them on the main tree, I did a picture tree. Yeah. Because lots of times they do that with their pictures. So I just wrapped cardboard like she had with... Um, scrapbook paper. Scrapbook paper. Ribbons. And ribbons. Trim. So she made me a bunch... Because okay. I had a bunch of pictures printed that I had... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> um, and I did mine all black and white themed, and then I'm doing like a buffalo check uh, fabric at the bottom for a tree skirt, 
and a little sign that says blessed at the top. A lot of you have seen it on Instagram, If, but I'm still working on those. So I make a lot of ornaments a day and it's hard to kind of coordinate everything. All right, those were my whips. Okay. Now we're gonna go on to gifts. I had some haul, but I forgot to print it out. I bought it from Etsy. Somebody tagged me in a punch needle that has two snowmen holding a quilt line with three separate quilts and there's hens up at the top. So I went and purchased that because I absolutely love them. Yeah, it was cute. So I will show that next week, no problem. All right, so we received so many gifts mm -hmm. this week. It's unbelievable. Um, so first from our, our friend Rich. Our bestie Rich in England. He made us Christmas garlands and oh my gosh, they're amazing. And he takes orders. He's on Instagram. And look at his beautiful car or so. He does custom orders too if yeah. you have. Ooh. I took a picture with Cash and Ronnie this morning with the garland. So hope I'll post that later. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I can't wait to hang this up. Thank you so much, Rich. We can't even tell you how much we love them. And then we received our um, thread keeps from LaDonna. <laughs> These were the um, part From of the Sunshine giveaway. Lane. Yes, she was giving away the the thread capes and scissor fobs. Love them. Okay, we took a five minute break to gather our thoughts. <laughs> okay, and then from Lisa, we received. There's two of them here. Um, let's see. If you can see this. It's so cute. Chicken quilt panels. So we what are going to learn that? how to do this. We are super excited. And there's one for each of us here, so we can both have one. It's very nice. Thank you, Lisa. All right, we're just gonna put it here. Keep moving, keep it moving. All right. Put that on top of it so we know who that came from. Yep. So we don't Thank have problems you. when we're done. Thank you, cards. <laughs> uh, Jacqueline, I just received this. This is a Radon um, napkin holder with a beautiful peppermint. It, it's a weight that holds it down. And then for mom. Isn't that cute? A new project bag of ice skaters and it's vintage -y. I absolutely love it. I wasn't gonna tell her about it because it came to my house. I was gonna be like, oh, nope, didn't get one. <laughs> um, and then Mickey Mouse project bags, Ziploc. If you'd like to sponsor us, Ziploc. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Absolutely love it. Is Mickey on the bags? I would think. Uh, I would think. They say Mickey Mouse. Don't worry. Uh, we'll look. From Jen Craft, she asked if she could get me interested in another hobby. Like, I need another hobby, like a hole in the head. But uh, she sent me a diamond painting kit. There's not a picture of it. It's a chicken diamond painting. So I will have to open it up and see if I'm capable of doing this. I know it's all the the rage now so absolutely thank you so much and then uh lori so she sent us some seeds she sent us this cute card she won one of our automakers farm giveaways and she sent us seeds she said that they are a lilac color oh right here in an envelope so we can plant these in our garden thank you so much that was extremely thoughtful and then some shirts is that not adorable Some patriotic ones, and I love this one, and the chicken. Thank you so much, Lori. And we will be planting those this spring. Is it spring? And then we're almost done. Abby Rose Designs. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. So she sent us Calvin, first of all. <laughs> and a really nice card. We appreciate it. And then she sent us some giveaways and some for us. So this is called Mind Your Manners. So what we're going to do is we're going to compile a pile of these. Because there is a pile. And it will go in the 10,000 subscriber giveaway too. We need like 400 more subscribers. So tell your friends. This <laughs> is Yuletide on Thistle Hill. I love this one. I, oh, sorry. I believe uh, Farm Girl did this one, right? I don't know. I think so. And I absolutely love it. Then there's Blessings Be Upon This House. 
So we got lots of good giveaways for our 10,000 subscribers. There's full sets of Lizzie Cates. There's Country Cottage Needlework. Mm -hmm. And now a slew of Abby Rose. Abby Rose. Mm -hmm. uh, ooh, I love this one. I know. This is home. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. <I had. laughs> Hometown Christmas. At least he's not puking on you this time. Mm. Is that not the cutest? And it has the little needle shop. Somebody told me that I talk way too fast, which in this video I talked very fast, but they also said that I don't hold the charts up long enough. So I'm trying to make a conscious effort to hold them up there. Oh, and we still... don't want you to have to spend six hours because <laughs> we know you're busy. We know you're busy. Um, farmhouse Christmas. I and I'm love looking for that volunteers one. to help me come decorate. <laughs> So I made the joke to mom that, um, because she's like, this must have been so expensive. I said, it's probably cheaper than having you home for two weeks with all your Christmas trees on them, your electric bill. <laughs> because he just skipped out on half a month of decorations. Yeah. She'll have to keep it up later now. So thank you so much. We appreciate all of these designs and I and can't wait to start thank you. stitching them. And again, once we get to 10,000, we have just a glob of things to mm -hmm. give away. We still have things to give away in the meantime too, but yep. we want to make that absolutely special because we appreciate all of you and the time that you mm -hmm. spend with us. All of the emails saying, hey guys, I miss you. Are you okay? Um, <laughs> I got a, a, a message from Chelsea the day that they were waiting to surprise me. People think we're dead. <laughs> And truth be told, I had worked it out with my brother Hunter to wear my mom's shirt and we were just going to put sunglasses on him and we were going to do a show. I sent him all the lines that he has to say like, hello, floss to this is real house, so it's a whatever. And we were good to go. And then Saturday I woke up and I'm like, I just can't. It was snowing or something like that. And so, and I didn't know. I would have died. If you were I, <laughs> he was going to wear the V-neck shirt that we have that say real house. So it was, it was going to be hysterical. And he's like, Calvin can be in it now. All right, and then from Allison at Northern Fabrics. So I'm gonna read this one off of the letter because there's um, quite a few things involved in it. So she was kind and of- And it'll be our giveaway next Yeah, next week. I'm this just week, you. We're giving away the scissors from Down Sunshine Lane, the little Christmas ones. And- I'm giving you a little sneak peek into what's mm -hmm. next week because you are also um, given a coupon code if you'd like to buy some fabric. So she uh, is the owner of Northern Fabrics. They have a website and they have an Etsy shop. And she sent us some fabrics to use for finishing or for quilting, which was incredibly kind of her. Yes, love them all. And then the giveaway for next week is actually a Notions box. Uh, so it's a new product to her shop, which contains 12 Notions items for quilters or sewists. It makes a great holiday gift. Items included are full-size quilt pattern, so quilt pattern, um, wall hanging pattern, scissors with sheaths, thread, needle threader, machine needles, machine cleaners, sew tights magnetic, flatter spray, wool pressing mat, tissues, and bandages. The retail box of this value, the retail value of this, <laughs> I, I did go to school, I could read, is $75. However, my customer's price is $49.95. Additionally, she's giving a coupon code to either her Etsy shop or her <laughs> website. Uh, the, P the code is PC15 off and that runs through December 31st. So we will definitely link all this below. This box will be going to a winner next, next week. week. Um, I just wanted to give you a little preview if that's something that you're interested in. Um, and they have the cute, look at these little bandages by L'Oreal. I, I just love it all. I haven't gotten brave because I'm not a quilter. My mom does 90% of my quilts and I haven't I'm not a quilter either. I haven't talked her into we, we doing those. We just play those. one on quilts <laughs> Like being my mom. <laughs> yeah, we just play one. Um, but we will list all of this below. I know that was long and sorry I messed up, but I wanted to make sure that you knew what was included. But that'll be next week's giveaway. So if you're into quilting or want to start quilting. And if you read that card from Abby Rose Design, she said that she made quilts and wanted to know about our coffee filter wreaths so oh yeah we have to do a video thank you so much for watching us yes <laughs> um last are you choking on your hand no, last <laughs> last week so he, if you can see the little scratches i promise he's okay he i cut his nails and i left a little sharp part and he apparently 
got it. I got the okay to feed him around Christmas time. The doctor was like, if you'd like to be aggressive, you can start around Christmas. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't know that I decorate for Christmas now, so I'm not sure which time she means. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Last week's giveaway was from Needle Case Goodies, these beautiful sheep scissors. I've been using them. I love them. Um, and the winner of that, I loved reading all your comments. Thank you. Uh is Lori J. Towell. So if you can, our email is listed below. Just send us a quick email with your information and we can send these out to you pronto. Also, there was one winner that their gift did not go out. It's going out today. The stamps fell behind the cabinet because I'm a slob. So <laughs> I could reach my arm in there. I had to wait for Chelsea to come and get it's coming. Right. We promise. It's coming. Oh, he's saying you're too long. You're past the 20 minutes. <laughs> All right. This week's, do you have a question? Best surprise that you've ever, okay. So this week um, <laughs> is, we have two giveaways, yes, right? There's two of these. So there will be two winners picked next week. The uh, question that you're going to answer is what is the best surprise that you've ever had? Because this was the best surprise mom has ever had, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So two, don't say giveaway. Don't say free. Don't say pick me. Just what do you want? What was the best surprise? We had a lot to like go over video, today. Be a subscriber. Also, uh, some people sent out birthday cards and birthday wishes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. for our... <laughs> um, and uh, if we missed something that we got this week, we will show it next week. There was just a lot. We're She just got back late last night. What? 1230. 1230. So we're not fully there yet. Mm -mm. I'm not there yet. I don't know about you, but I'm still jet lagged <laughs> over my one day. And Calvin still hates me. He probably hates you more than all the stuff off her tree in there was taken off. So yeah. <laughs> two trees he got to. That's Either that good. Or Hunter's just a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps choking. <laughs> all right, guys, we're done. Okay. Um, we will see you guys. Oh, follow us on Instagram <laughs> at Priscilla Blaney at Chelsea three five six Priscilla's two thousand on Facebook and Priscilla's two thousand dot com where you can see more of everything that we do. Even though I haven't posted for two weeks, sorry. I was out in the middle of an ocean. Anyway, thank you so much for, for, you know, being understanding about us not being back next week when we said we were. I wanted I to say something no so bad or like just wink, but I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, she was like, oh, we'll be back Sunday. And my stepdad was like, hey, you need to start planning um, like an extra video. Tell her you have to go out of town or something like that. And I'm like, she knows me better than I'm not leaving my house if I don't have to. <laughs> So, um, it was very fun. It was fun to trick her. And I told him, don't tell me anything because she's going to try to get it out of me. I did not try to get it out of you. I did, I did guess all these things though, but. But you didn't think it would no, happen. Right. But I was just guessing a bunch of different things. So. But I can't tell a lie. So anytime she would ask me something, I would just turn red and I'd turn my face. But the best yeah, part. Yeah, I told her, I said, David just called and said that the cruise is canceled. And she turned her face away from me. And I was like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then um, with the swimsuit, she wouldn't just pack her swimsuit. I'm like, just put the swimsuit in the suitcase. You don't have to wear it. Just put the swimsuit in the suitcase. I don't want to go to the swimsuit. I go to Disney to go to the parks. I'm like, well, you're going to a spa. And that was like the worst thing in the world to her. Absolutely the worst thing. I'm like, Mickey has big hands. You'll be fine. I'm not doing that. Who wants to go to the spa? I want to be in the parks. That's why we knew she was going to be mad when he said, we're going to have to go leave to have dinner at Disney Springs. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to say too. On my birthday, we were waiting in line to get into the park part where Buzz Lightyear is oh, and th this guy came over that worked there and he he said if you put your feet over this line I'm gonna squirt you with my water and I said if you squirt me I'm gonna beat you up and then you're gonna have to walk me over to Buzz Lightyear and I'm gonna have to be the first one to ride and he was just joking around and then the lady that also worked there came up to me and said have you ever been first on Buzz Lightyear and I said no and she said come on with me since so you got escorted to uh, well, everybody Buzz else Lightyear. Behind us in line waiting to get in. She was super excited. Mm -hmm. She filmed that. She was on her phone for that, luckily. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, I didn't see you guys in Snapchat at all. She felt bad because it was her birthday. All right. Are you done? All right, guys. Have you said everything? I think so. We covered the... Oh, and if you get your inspiration from us for finishing, please tag us. Tag our vlog. Gotta give credit where credit's due, right? <laughs> All right, guys, we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.